Hey, remember RAM disks? Are they still worth setting up? Next on Ask the Tech Guy. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remotely, visit LastPass.com slash Twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. LastPass manages every entry point to your business so you can mitigate risk in office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Hey, everybody. Leo Laporte here. Got a question from Wayne. Are RAM drives worth the time and effort to set up? That is a blast from the past. Thank you for the question, Rain. Uh, Wayne. <laughs> a RAM disk is using a portion of your computer memory, you know, the 8 gigs or 16 gigs, or if you're lucky, 32 gigs, as a hard drive, as a disk. The idea being they're so fast to access that if you put something on there, it'd be really quick. And this was a technique very popular a few years ago. In fact, I remember going in to a computer store. This must have been 20 or 30 years ago. And hearing the tech say, explain to somebody, you know, what you really want is 8 megabytes megabytes of RAM in your computer. You want 2 megabytes for the operating system and programs, 2 megabytes for a RAM disk, 2 megabytes for a cache, and I can't remember what he thought the other two were for. But that's a long time ago, and I think it's probably the case that RAM disks these days are not worth the time and the effort. Let me let me explain why. Now these days we have a lot of har of uh, storage, a lot of RAM on our computers, uh, pretty much eight megabytes. Goodness, we have eight gigabytes, and that's a starter. Uh, more typically, your computer will probably have 16 gigabytes or more. And it's not unreasonable to say, well, why don't I just take two gigabytes of that and make it a RAM disk? Now, first of all, you're going to need some third-party software. And yes, they still sell it. Uh, you know, $30, $40. You can get a program that will turn that extra memory into a hard drive. But then you're going to have to have the operating system use it as a hard drive it won't be your c drive or your d drive it'll be you know some other letter you can assign letters in most of these programs and uh, you can even have it remember it'll when you shut down the computer it'll go away so you can even have it automatically load on startup um, i'm looking at a program called data ram ram disk uh, data ram will load it on startup it'll save the disk image it shut down which is nice because remember one problem with a ram disk is RAM goes away when your computer's turned off. So any change you make to it won't normally be saved, but modern RAM disk software will save it. In fact, you can even have it save every few minutes if you plan to put anything on it. Typically, you wouldn't. Typically, you'd use RAM disks for something that's not going to change, something like a program that you load all the time. Here's why it's probably not a good idea. First of all, modern operating systems are really good at using memory to do exactly this. They'll load as much as they can into memory, and if you give them all the memory you've got available, they'll be smart enough to load that whole program into memory and run out of memory the whole time. There's no reason for you to manually say, well, okay, I'm going to give you 12 gigs, but I'm going to keep four gigs to myself and put the program there. It just isn't efficient, and you're not going to do as good a job as the operating system will. It knows a lot better what it needs. It's also a pain. It's expensive to get. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And the final reason it doesn't make a lot of sense is most computers these days have very fast disks. Solid-state drives aren't as fast as RAM, but in most cases, they're fast enough that there's no real benefit to loading stuff out of RAM. So let the computer manage memory. It's going to do a better job. Get an SSD if you don't have one. That's what I would spend some money on. If you have an old, slow spinning drive, get a solid-state drive. That'll make the biggest difference and be the best bang for your buck. So, Wayne, no, I have to conclude... Given the trouble, the effort, and the cost of setting up a RAM disk, you're not going to see a whole lot of benefit. There are enterprise-level products that are very, very fast 
disk drives that are essentially just RAM memory backed up uh, by uh, by power. They're very expensive, tens of thousands of dollars. And I honestly don't think those are worth it either. So your system, these days, modern operating systems do a really good job of managing memory, processor, let them do their job. And you just enjoy the computing. But a great question. Thanks, Wayne. As always, our show today brought to you by LastPass, your remote workforce. Sitting at home, they can be a little bit of a security risk. LastPass lets you easily transition from in-office to in-home. That's because LastPass lets IT stay in complete control over which employees are accessing what, no matter where they are. It makes it easy for employees to share passwords across teams. LastPass reduces the risk of phishing schemes because it will never autofill passwords on suspicious websites. Get simple security across every access point right now with LastPass. All you have to do is go to lastpass.com slash twit to find out more. Lastpass.com slash twit. Well, that's it for Ask the Tech Guy. I hope you uh, will ask me. If you've got a question, just email askthetechguy at twit.tv. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, I'm your tech guy, not just any old tech guy. I'm Leo Laporte. I'll see you next Monday on Ask the Tech Guy. Bye-bye. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.